and welcome to our channel. This is Archie the Cockatiel and I am Archie's mom, Stacy. And today we have an unboxing and we're gonna try out a product that we got from Christine's Chop Shop. I'll have the link down below to her site. She has a lot of great treats and food for your birds. Some of it you don't have to cook, some of it you do. She has some great birdie bread on there as well. But we got something new that we haven't tried before that I'm very excited about. So let's take a look and I'll show you what I ordered. All right, so in our Christine's Chop Shop haul here. Are you excited to see? He's checking it out. Okay. So we've got the uh, relatively new Birdie Breakfast Bowls by Christine's Chop Shop. They come in several flavors. The links will be down below. This is the veggie flavor because I always like to give my birds more vegetables. And then I also got the strawberry banana flavor. You can actually see the bits of strawberry in there. And then I also got the cinnamon apple flavor. And basically with these, you just add one part cereal and two parts water. You simmer it on the stovetop for approximately 15 minutes or until the desired texture is reached. And make sure that the cereal is completely cooled before serving. You don't want to give your bird any food or drink that is too hot or it will burn their crop. And they will obviously be very sick. They could potentially pass away from it. So just make sure that whenever you feed things that you cook, that you let it cool to about room temperature. I usually just use my finger and touch whatever it is I'm about to feed them. And if it doesn't burn my finger, then I know it's ready. So this um, cinnamon apple flavor has hard red wheat, oat groats, triticale, rye, barley, soft white wheat, spelt hard white wheat, and flax. And then of course it also has cinnamon and apple. Now the cinnamon that Christine's Chop Shop uses is Ceylon cinnamon because it's the purest form of cinnamon. There's another type of cinnamon and it's not very good for birds so you generally don't want to feed that. So make sure that if you are going to give your bird something with cinnamon in it that it is Ceylon cinnamon. And the strawberry banana flavor also has the wheat, oat groats, rye, spell, hard white wheat, flax just like the others. So it looks like the only difference is going to be the name of the flavor. So strawberry banana versus veggie versus cinnamon apple. And the veggie, you can see the peas in there, bits of corn, red pepper. So you can see all of that is in there. So this should be good. And then lastly, I ordered it's, um, a snack for when Archie is out um, on his play area. I used to give him like an AV cake or something like that. I wanted to kind of like switch things up and give him something a little different. And so I ordered this carrot birdie brittle. So this can be given as a snack or a light meal. It has pepitas in it, a little bit of seed, and then of course carrot puree. So I thought this would be good just to give him something a little different as a snack when he's out for playtime. Okay. And then it still has some seed in it, but it switches things up and of course carrot is good for you. And you. So I thought it would be good to try. So I'll have all the links for the products down below. And what flavor do you want to try first? You want to, do you want to pick? Which one would you rather have? This one? Is this the one you want? Alright, I think we'll start out with the cinnamon apple and try that one first. So stay tuned and I will insert a clip of making this and giving it to the birds. Alright, so now it is time to make their birds their dinner and I decided to go with the C 
cinnamon apple birdie breakfast bowl. Typically, I'll make this as a breakfast for them and not a dinner, but this morning I got up a little late and I wanted to make this video today, so we're making it for dinner instead. And it says to add one part cereal to two parts water and simmer for approximately 15 minutes. So I'm going to grab out my pot here. And I'm going to measure it out. I'm not sure how much this is going to... Oh, you can really see that cinnamon there. Now, um, like I mentioned, Ceylon cinnamon is safe for birds. The cinnamon that you typically get at the grocery store for humans is called cassia. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but Ceylon cinnamon is the purest form of cinnamon and it's better for birds. Do not use like your traditional cinnamon that you would use from the grocery store. Even though it's organic, they still recommend Ceylon cinnamon. And I learned that from Parrot Playhouse. So I like her channel and she talks about that a lot. So we're going to cut this open. And I don't know how much they're all going to eat. So I think I'm going to do, mm, I'll do a half a cup and see where that takes us. I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. I should have done this before I opened it. I mixed it up because some of it settled into the bottom. Alright, so I used a half a cup and there's still quite a bit left in there, which means we'll get several meals out of it, which is great. But I want to seal this. So I'm going to use a little chip clip here to pinch it closed. Okay. And so we want to add it to two parts water. So I've got one part, AKA one half cup. So two parts would be two of those, which is one cup. One and two. And we're going to simmer it for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stove top. It smells really good so far, definitely smells like cinnamon. But yeah, we're gonna let this get to a simmer and then let it simmer for 15 minutes. So I'll be right back. All right, so I was cooking it on uh, about medium heat, as you can see here, and it really only took about 10 minutes for it to finish cooking and get pretty thick. So I think it is ready, other than the fact that it needs to cool a bit. I'm going to go ahead and serve it up in their bowls so that it can cool in there instead of the residual heat of the pan. Jackie's bowl. And Evie's bowl. And then Archie's. All right, so I had enough for Jackie and Evie's bowl, and then there's some for Archie. I need to go get a bowl for BB and put hers in there too. So I think I have just about enough to serve everybody. So with Archie being overweight, I'm not give. I'm giving him enough so that when he flings it around, there's still some left to eat too. Because he won't eat all of this. Some of this will get flung around, and the dogs will get to eat it. So it smells good. It smells just like like cinnamon apple oatmeal. I think that's kind of essentially what it is, basically. So, but it smells really good and I think they're gonna like it. So first we need to let it cool to about room temperature, lukewarm, so that it's safe for them to eat because you don't want to burn their crop because that would hurt them. I think this is really about a fourth of a cup and uh, Evie looks like she's got more just because her bowl is smaller. And then Archie, mm, definitely less than a fourth of a cup in there. So I like to put enough in there because I know he's going to fling some of it around and not actually eat it. And then he will actually eat some of it. So since he is overweight and we are trying to help him lose weight, I want to make sure that I don't give him too much. 
but I want to give him enough that he can fling it around and still have um, a full meal's worth. All right, and here I've got Bibi's bowl. I gave her roughly the same amount as Archie because she is a smaller bird. A quick note, you may be wondering, why are all of their bowls in stainless steel, which is better than plastic, in stainless steel, and Archie's is plastic? That is because my birds um, all eat their like fresh meals while they're in their cages. If they're out on their play stands, they tend to not focus on the food and they just want to play. So I put their meals in the stainless steel bowls that go in their cages. And then Archie likes to eat his while he's out on his play stand. He knows that's meal time. So that's why his is in a plastic bowl. But I make sure that I thoroughly clean it. It's dishwasher safe, so I also run it through the dishwasher so that uh, bacteria doesn't build up in it because that's why plastic bowls aren't as good as stainless steel. But since I do clean it after every meal, it is okay to use the plastic bowl instead of stainless steel. I can't put stainless steel bowls on his play stand, otherwise I totally would. So I use what it came with. It like sits into a little hole and then you turn it sideways so that it um, stays put. Baby's bowl, I actually sprinkled a little bit of the extra boost by Christine's Chop Shop just because she did lay an egg the other day. Jackie went right for the birdie breakfast bowl. Once I put the birdie breakfast bowls in their bowls, it cooled pretty quickly compared to leaving it in the pot um, or on the stove top to cool. So I would definitely recommend to let it cool that you go ahead and serve it up in their bowls and just set it to the side to cool. And if I stand real close like this, Archie is not going to eat. So I'm gonna go sit down. But the first thing I'm gonna do is pretend I'm eating it. And that it tastes really good, Archie. Very good. Mmm, it's so yummy. Archie. And when I do that, he gets a little possessive and taps his beak. Yeah, you gonna try it? Like it? Is it pretty good? Jackie Bird, do you like it?
brittle. guys thank you for watching our video on our unboxing and testing of the new christine's chop chop birdie breakfast bowls i am not sponsored by them i do buy my own products and try them out myself i just like to share with you guys so that you guys can have ideas on things to try for your bird please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we would love if you would join our flock and hit that subscribe button And until then, we will see you next time.